Hello everyone, this is Rich Hay from WindowsObserver.com. I'm here with you to show you how to install the Windows 8.1 Preview on uh, your Surface RT. If you head on the web to preview.windows.com, you'll come to this site right here. And there's a video you can watch that's an overview of Windows 8.1. But what we're going to do is jump straight to the download. So we're going to click on the download link. And as you can see here, it's already identified that I'm on a Windows RT system. Um, so the first thing you have to do is you have to get an update on your system and then um, the full Windows 8.1 preview will show up in the Windows Store. So we're going to go ahead and click this to get the update. And we're going to open that and run it. Alright, we're going to go ahead and say yes to that. Do you want to install the update? Yes, of course we do. We want Windows 8.1 on here. So it looks a lot like a Windows update installation. It's just a standalone package that prepares your Windows 8 system, um, the RT, at least in this version, for the Windows 8.1 preview. Now I'm, it recommends that you create a USB recovery drive in order to be able to restore your system. Um, I've already previously done that. I removed my recovery partition from my Surface RT uh, several weeks ago so I have that backed up and safe. So if I have to revert back to Windows 8 normal on RT I can. But I'm going to go ahead and push straight forward and get this uh, loaded up on the Surface RT. Alright, time for a restart. Let me just check one more thing here. Um, yeah, so, alright, we're going to restart and see what comes up as it reboots. It looks like pretty typical uh, update notices that you get when you're adding Windows updates and things like that during the normal update cycles. And here we go for the restart. Alright, back to the normal configuring the update screens that we see very typically every month when we do the Windows updates on Patch Tuesday. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and log back into my surface. Now that update exposes, there's the preview right there. So the banner comes up across the screen the moment you log back into your Surface RT that says you can get the Windows 8.1 preview for free. You have to go to the store, see what's new, and get the update. So we're going to click go to store and the Windows Store is going to open up. and there's the information for the preview. So it gives you some screenshots and a few things to expect about data encryption. And that's an interesting note that if you're installing this on an x86 um, or a 64-bit computer that uh, data encryption is automatically um, activated for those systems. So we're going to go ahead and click the download button. It says we can keep working while the update is downloading and the next thing they'll know is when it's time for the next step. And it looks like it is 2.2 gigabytes is the size for the preview.
So for now, while this is downloading all the update, I'm going to pause the video and we will uh, be. I'll rejoin the video once we get the download. All right, just wanted to show you that uh, once the initial download was clicked on and it uh, downloaded some information, it shifted to this screen to show that the install for the Windows RT 8.1 Preview is downloading. And it's got a typical progress bar that you see uh, when you're installing Windows Store apps. So again, we'll pause the video at this point and I will uh, come back once the download is complete and the installation begins. Okay, so we are about 30 minutes into this download process, installation process for the Windows RT 8.1 preview installation on my Surface RT. And it looks like it has finished downloading the information in the update and now it is uh, gathering info, it says. So we're still about just over two thirds of the way through the progress bar and we'll just keep an eye on it and see what happens as it gets ready to go to the next step. Okay, we are now at the preparing to restart stage of our Windows RT 8.1 preview installation on a Surface RT. So uh, the final stages are in progress to prepare the, the Surface to reboot. And then we will uh, hopefully see the update on the other side of that as the system gets updated. Okay, there it just gave me the banner to say the restart needs to happen. So we will initiate that. Let the system reboot. Alright, so now it looks like it's going through a setting up process with the percentage counter there. So it's setting at 1%. We'll just let the video continue to run and we'll speed this up through the uh, when we post the prep the video to go up on YouTube. All right, it looks like we're going to get another reboot here after the uh, restart was and in, uh, installation was done. So we'll see where it takes us, if there's another cycle here or whether or not we're going to be uh, 
able to log into the system. All right, I have to admit there that screen stayed blank for a little longer than I thought it would. I was getting a little bit worried there, but I'm glad to see the Surface uh, uh, logo back up and the, the uh, weight symbol. All right, now it says getting devices ready. This is a very familiar part of the process. If you've ever done any kind of an update or an install of Windows, uh, it looks like we're going through the uh, typical stages of that and this is moving along pretty quickly because of course the surface doesn't have a whole lot of devices plugged into it so we're at nearly 40 percent already all right jumps all of a sudden up into the 80s after setting at 37 percent for a while there 100 percent all right let's see what it serves up Now I'm also interested, I had the uh, hack on my Surface RT to give me four rows of tiles on the start screen, so I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see whether it resets that and goes back to the standard three rows of tiles on the Surface start screen like it normally displays. Alright, now it's jumped into applying the PC settings. Um, again, it looks like it's going through a fairly standard uh, installation here. I assume since it should retain all of my settings and stuff that it's retrieving those settings and putting those back on the system at this point. All right, looks like we're getting another restart after those updates. Okay, now we've got a note that says it's setting up a few more things and it's starting the percentage count, so we'll see how long this takes. We are about just over one hour into the entire process since we started the update from the preview.windows.com page. All right, it looks like we are going to get to get into the system and the first page that it displays is the license terms for the Windows 8.1 preview. We're going to go ahead and tap accept and it's asking to do the settings. So I'm just going to uh, customize those the way there is the option here. Some people have already asked about this. This is the new automatically update your apps. You can set that and obviously it can be turned off in the Windows Store. 
Um, this is just the standard helping to improve products and I do like the fact that Microsoft turns all theirs off by default so you can opt into those but you get the online solution opt-in so you're not providing data you're just getting information. Uh, sharing information, uh, Bing results and things of that nature this is stuff I've always allowed and next it's a setup of the account. Alright so it already knows who I am so I'm going to log in Hopefully I typed that right. Alright. Alright, now I have to go to my phone authenticator app. This is part of the two-factor authentication that we have on Windows now and on Microsoft accounts. So I am going to enter that. Of course that number does not help you at all because it is what it is. It's gone now. It's no longer any use. So here's the SkyDrive setup for Windows 8.1. Um, talking about your uh, SkyDrive storage and the options here is don't use SkyDrive or use SkyDrive. And now it's going to finalize the settings. Alright, so this is that standard out-of-box experience that we've seen in the past with the Windows 8. It'll be interesting to see if they've changed anything. Um, so this is uh, the installation of the apps that are being done. Okay, um, it just finished the final updates to, to all the apps, and as you can see, I'm back to three default rows of tiles, which means it did reset the uh, four-row hack that I had previously installed. Now, um, I'm looking at the apps that are installed, and it looks like uh, the apps that I previously had installed are here. Uh, for the most part, I don't notice anything out of place. Uh, there is a new help and tips uh, tile over here on the right. But um, I do have some work to do here because I need to go in and do some setting up. So that was the installation process for the Windows 8.1 preview on Surface RT. It took uh, 75 minutes from the beginning of the download to the final getting to the start screen and ready to go. So that may vary for you because I downloaded that 2.2 gigabyte file on Wi-Fi in my home Wi-Fi. So it was limited speed. Um, but we will be doing another video and a walkthrough of the system uh, later today. Thanks for your attention and thanks for visiting uh, windowsobserver.com.